Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to update your PlayStation 5 using the internet. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So you wanna go ahead and update your PlayStation 5 using the internet. Well, this is actually really easy to do. However, if you have your PlayStation 5 turned on and you go to the settings menu, and you try to find an option to update it, it may say that your system is currently up to date. There is a way for you to go ahead and download the system software update and reinstall it on your PlayStation 5, and that is through the safe mode menu. Now to access this menu, you will have to completely turn off your PS5. So you can do that by holding down the power button just directly on the console itself and you'll hear one beep initially, then about five, six seconds later, you'll hear a second beep, and it'll completely shut off. Otherwise, press the PlayStation button on the controller, and then go over to power and go to turn off. Now, don't go to enter rest mode. We want to 100% completely turn off our PS5. So there will be no lights emitting on the front. So once it's completely shut off, we will be able to access the safe mode menu. Now. Locate the power button once again, and this is the furthest button to the side here. And just hold this down, you will hear one beep, the lights will turn on, and about seven, eight seconds later, you will hear another beep. Then go ahead and let go, and your PlayStation 5 will launch into safe mode. Now it says connect the controller using the USB cable, then press the PS button. So I have this USB to USB C cable that I'm going to plug directly into the front of my PlayStation 5 right here and then plug the other end to my controller and then press the PlayStation button and now use the D-pad to operate the safe mode menu here. Now you will want to go down to update system software option number three select this then it says update from USB drive or update using the internet option two Let's press X on this option, and it says please wait. Now it says the PS5 system software will be updated. Your PS5 will restart and start the update. So then it gives you the version. Let's go to update. Now it's gonna download it, and there's about three minutes left for me. It's about a one gig update. So it's gonna be installing a fresh copy of the update. So if you did have something wrong with the most recent update, this is probably the quickest way to go ahead and try to alleviate that problem. So once this is done, your PS5 will start like normal. If this video did indeed help you, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PS5 tech help videos coming up next on Your 6 Studios.